Today we'll be going over five things Dr. Pimple Popper wishes her patients knew about their skin. Let's get into the video. I just like this. Number five, don't fall for these myths. And now for the lightning round. We asked Lee to dispel a few skincare myths, so here are some of her most frequently asked questions. Does eating oily foods make you break out? This is false, Lee says. Greasy foods only make you break out if you were to rub it on your skin. Eating these oily foods does not increase your skin's oil production, which is one of the causes of acne. Dairy does correlate with acne, however, because excess dairy can trigger hormonal changes in our body. This promotes inflammation and increases our skin's production of oil and sebum. While having dirty skin cause pimples, dirt won't make you break out unless it stays on the skin, mixes with sweat and irritates your skin, which can then clog pores to form pimples, Lee explains. Does washing your face several times a day clear up breakouts? Washing your face twice a day is important for unclogging pores, she notes, but washing your face too frequently can actually irritate your skin, especially when you have acne. Scrubbing your skin too often or too aggressively increases redness and flakiness and irritates the papules and pustules that are already present on your skin. Is it true that spending time in the sun will clear up my zits? Yeah, it's true that sun exposure can, in the short term, clear up your skin somewhat, and this is because sunlight is a mild anti-inflammatory agent, Lee says. In fact, it has been used to treat other inflammatory skin conditions such as eczema and perseurosis. She also notes that temporarily the sun may dry out some pimples and make you feel like it's helping your acne. However, the long-term consequences of sun exposure makes this all not worth it, Lee says. There is definite increased risk of skin cancer and premature aging with chronic sun exposure. The sun also darkens existing pigmentation, so make sure to always wear SPF when leaving the house. Whoa, that was a good one. <laughs> was it? Let's see if we can get any of it out. No, it's not that gross. No. But I do wear a shield. Good. Just to make sure we're good, I'll let you guys know. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze this up. I'll get your salsa. Number four, pick products with the right ingredients. If there's one thing Lee wishes her patients would stop doing immediately, it's choosing skincare products without the ingredients that are known to fight pimples. While I am not against alternative remedies or skincare solutions in the fight against pimples, I do like to stick to and recommend ingredients I know will work, such as benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, and sulfur, Lee says. Nothing that all these can be found in her SLMD formulas. Lee says that she also concentrates on educating people and ensures they understand why those active ingredients work on acne and what type of acne specifically can target. Then people are more likely to choose the right acne products, use them correctly, and of course, see results, she adds. Number three, don't forget your neck. We can't forget the skin that's not on our face, as Lee says. A good tip is to bring your skin care down to your neck and decolligate the area. These areas are often forgotten but are just as important to care for, she explains. Number two, what actually causes breakouts? When it comes to acne, there are a lot of factors that can cause us to break out beyond simply not washing our face, Lee says. Genetics, hormones, sweat, and even certain hair care products can cause breakouts on the face. Every case of acne is different and usually has more than one of those factors involved. Number one, your skin is connected to your overall health. It should come as no surprise that there is a link between how the skin on our face looks and our general health. I think when we don't eat or sleep well, this is reflected in our skin on our overall health, Lee explains. Our immune system is often not as strongest, and we are more prone to getting sick and probably also more susceptible to skin conditions that our immune system would normally fight off. There are plenty of reasons we want to live a healthier existence. Good skin would just be a bonus. I think many of us have seen that when we feel our best, we look our best too, she says. I don't think we've ever seen a person who is physically very ill and notice that their skin looks fantastic. It all works hand in hand. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.